I'll tell you something else that I think a lot about that might help somebody listening that doesn't get talked about enough. When I hear you say that about your husband, it makes me think of my dad who plays the same card. I, on the other hand, have a little bit of a different variation, which is I'm not scared to have to sell my home and rent an apartment or, or bring in my Range Rover lease and get a Toyota lease. I'm not scared of going backwards on things. I'm scared of going backwards on options to do something I want to do. Mm. And so I think what's a huge thing that I see from people is they couldn't imagine living life without their nanny, even though the three years before they had a nanny, you know, some people start with a nanny, some get it later. Like I'm just going very high net worth circles I run in. They, you get very accustomed to things that you didn't even know you needed prior to having them. And I think having the stomach, AKA the self-confidence and the humility to be able to give up something of luxury because you're required to is the mental block that most people struggle with. I think a lot of people struggle with going backwards. My father does for sure. My dad doesn't want to go backwards. That seems so devastating to him. And to me, if this Gary Vee character that has the honor of people like yourself interested in having them on the podcast and getting paid to speak and building companies, if I make six wrong turns and that requires me to take a step back, be out of the limelight, put back, and it's not even put back, only have my lunch pail and hard hat and build back up, in a weird way, that's romantic to me. Whereas I think what I've learned is, ooh, that's a unique trait I have because a lot of my contemporaries really are devastated with the idea of giving up their beach house or, yeah. or not flying pri- private or first class or, or not taking Ubers but having to drive themselves or not being able to afford $19 drinks you know, as a coffee or a juice every day and I think people struggle with the step back and for me I think the thing that keeps me aggressive and going for it is the lack of fear of the step back because I can deal with having little and I don't care what people think about my losses because I view them as my own losses and other people's opinions on them though I understand them because we all do it to anybody that's got any notoriety I'm not affected by them because the reality is it's a passing thought. Every opinion we have on people in the public eye, we have a 48 hour, 72 hour thought about it and then we just move on to the next thing. And so I can't be crippled by millions of people saying I told you he was full of shit and not good. Mm. See, you know, because there's a lot of people who are very big advocates of my work and there's other people who are cynical to it. And I can, you know, to me, the worst case scenario is somebody who's cheering for me and believes in me. If I fail, they are now told by their grandfather who's like, see, I told you that guy was a slickster and a fast talking East Coast guy. And then them feeling bad. For me, I can't worry about that feedback because I'm not living for anybody else's opinions or thoughts other than my own about myself.